Erythropoiesis. Erythropoiesis is a process of the origin, development and the maturation of the erythrocytes. Erythrocytes are the RBCs. So, erythro meaning RBCs, poiesis meaning the origin and development. Don't get confused by the hemopoiesis and the erythropoiesis. Hemopoiesis or the hematopoiesis is the process of origin, development and the maturation of all the blood cells. So don't get confused. Hemopoiesis meaning all blood cells maturation and the erythropoiesis means the origin, development and the maturation of RBCs. What is the site of this erythropoiesis? In the fetal life, the mesoplastic stage occurs during the first two months of the intrauterine life. So in this mesoblastic stage, the RBCs are produced from the mesenchyme of the yolk sac. And the second stage in the fetal life is the hepatic stage. As the name indicates, the hepatic, that means the RBCs are produced from the liver and spleen and the lymphoid organs are also involved in the production of the RBCs. So this hepatic stage is from the third month of the intrauterine life. In the myeloid stage, this stage is during the last three months of intrauterine life. The RBCs in this myeloid stage are produced from the red bone marrow. That's why the name myeloid. The site of RBC production in newborn babies, that means up to 20 years of life, the RBCs are mainly produced from the red bone marrows of all long bones and even the flat bones. After 20 years of age, the RBCs are produced from the membranous bones for which examples are the ribs, sternum, vertebrae, the skull bones, iliac bones, etc. We have learnt about the site. Now, let's learn about the stages of the erythropoiesis. It occurs in six stages. The first one is called as the proerythroblast. Remember, blast meaning the early stages any cell development so the first stage is the pro erythroblast and the second stage is the early normoblast intermediate normoblast the late normoblast reticulocyte and the last stage is the matured erythrocyte or the matured rbc we are going to learn each stage in detail the proerythroblast is also called as the megaloblast. It is the first cell that is derived from the colony forming units. So in this diagram, this cell is the proerythroblast, which is also called as the megaloblast because of its large size. This cell is round in shape, which is for about 15 to 20 microns in size. This is the large cell of all the stages of the erythropoiesis. It has a central nucleus and its cytoplasm is deep basophilic. The nucleus of this proerythroblast have two to three nucleoli and a reticular network. The hemoglobin is not present in this stage, so no hemoglobin. This proerythroblast multiplies several times and it finally forms the next cell of this cycle which is called as the early normoblast. So this cell is the early normoblast. The early normoblast is also called as the basophilic erythroblast. It is little smaller in size than the proerythroblast as you can see it here. It has a diameter of 12 to 18 micrometers. This is also micrometer. The condensed reticular network become dense. So it appears more basophilic. That is why the name indicates the basophilic erythroblast. So the reticular condensation is seen here and the nucleoli disappears. This cell is also round in shape. This cell shows active mitosis and it forms the next stage that is the intermediate normoblast. The intermediate normoblast is also called as the polychromatophyll erythroblast. 
This is the polychromatophil erythroblast or the intermediate normoblast. This cell is smaller than the early normoblast which is in size of 10 to 15 micrometers. It is also round in shape. The nucleus is present but the nucleoli are absent. The nucleus shows more reticular network that means the condensation. So the cytoplasm is more basophilic. There is coarse chromatin present and you can note the presence of the hemoglobin here. So the hemoglobin starts appearing in the intermediate normoblast stage. So because of the presence of this hemoglobin, the cytoplasm stains with acidic as well as the basic stains. So that is why this stage is also called as the polychromatophil erythroblast. And this intermediate normoblast develops into the next stage that is the late normoblast. So this cell is the late normoblast. The late normoblast is also called as the orthochromatic erythroblast. In the late normoblast, the diameter of the cell further decreases. That means it is of the size 7 to 12 micrometers, which is also round in shape. The hemoglobin increases. So as the quantity of the hemoglobin increases and the cytoplasm becomes almost acidic. That is why this is called as the orthochromatic erythroblast. And remember, the chromatin network shows further condensation in this stage. The nucleus is small and the nuclear lysis is seen in this stage. And the next stage of this late normoblast is the reticulocyte. So this cell is the reticulocyte. This reticulocyte is also known as the immature RBC. The cytoplasm contains so much of the reticular network and that is why it is called as the reticulocyte. The reticulocyte is slightly bigger than the RBC and the reticulum is absurd. Which is nothing but the reticular network. It is also called as the reticulum. This reticulocyte is stained by the supravital stain. We can note few mitochondria and it synthesizes large amount of the hemoglobin. And the last stage of the erythropoiesis is the matured erythrocyte or commonly known as the erythrocyte. So this cell is the erythrocyte. In this, the reticular network disappears. This cell appears biconcave and its size is 7.2 micrometers in diameter. It contains large amount of hemoglobin but without nucleus. And this whole cycle of the erythropoiesis takes 7 days. That means from the development and the maturation of RBC from the proerythroblast. These first 5 stages up to the reticulocyte formation takes about 5 days. And the remaining 2 days are required for the formation of the reticulocyte into the matured erythrocyte. And you should remember the important events during this process of the erythropoiesis. In the proerythroblast, the hemoglobin synthesis begins. Synthesis meaning the formation of the hemoglobin begins. In the early normoblast, the nucleoli disappear. In the stage of the intermediate normoblast, the hemoglobin starts appearing, that means the hemoglobin gets visible. In the late normoblast stage, the nucleus disappears. That means the nuclear lysis occurs in this stage. In the reticulocyte stage, the reticulum is observed. And in the matured erythrocyte or the matured RBC stage, the reticulum disappears and the cell attain the shape that is biconcave. As you know, the RBCs are biconcave. So the erythropoiesis is the process of origin, development and the maturation of the erythrocyte. It occurs in six stages that is the proerythroblast, early normoblast, intermediate normoblast, the late normoblast, reticulocyte, and the matured erythrocyte. And these are the important events 
during the process of the erythropoiesis. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and do check on my recent videos and playlists.